Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3, the Sorcerer playthrough. Now, disclaimer before we start this episode, uh, this episode is going to be shorter than what I normally upload for this playthrough. Uh, oh shit, that's 20,000 souls? Man, that's expensive. I don't know why I thought it was cheaper. Um, basically, I'm going to be leaving soon, we have this family thing, uh, kind of family gathering. So I'm not going to have as much time to record as I normally do, but I still wanted to put out a video, you know, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging, um, but this that means the episode is going to be shorter, probably like uh, 23 to 25 minute mark, um, <clears throat> but yeah, we're going back to Earth Dungeon, I was planning on buying this key, because I saw it here in the loading screen, I was, I was reminded, but I did not remember it was 20,000 souls, so whatever, so yeah, Earth Dungeon, not the main thing we're here for, the main thing we're here for eventually is the profaned capital where we have some pretty good sorcerer stuff even here we have some dark sorceries which are helpful and probably the most annoying enemies in the game I don't know I still don't know who thought this enemy design was a good idea the worst thing in any souls game is taking unavoidable damage you know, this is a game that plays on the idea that you can, if you're good, you can basically dodge anything. And here they basically give you unavoidable damage, which I think is pretty bullshit. Yeah, that, that was, mm, yeah. If you don't know, they also put out this aura that uh, slows you, like having Iron Flesh on. And they deal a lot of damage with one of their grab attacks, so... I don't know, I don't like this enemy. I never have. But the area itself is cool. I feel like they were going for the Tower of Lantria thing, which, to be honest, the Tower of Lantria with those freezing enemies are, is also pretty bullshit. But, you know, they don't take your HP, too. Man, it's like... And I still haven't exactly figured out. <clears throat> I've done, like, three or four playthroughs of this game. Not on the channel, but on the channel and on my own. And I still haven't figured out what exactly is the field. Is it looking at them? Is it being near them? Because to me it seems completely random. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah. That's why I don't feel bad about using my spells. I think what they could have done better or could have handled it better is that if your HP comes back too, I think that would have been a better solution, but who knows. However, also in here, if you didn't know, is Great Magic Shield, I think. Yeah, Great Magic Shield, which is a pretty decent spell. The idea behind Great Magic Shield and Magic Shield is if you're a sorcerer, you know, you can't really block. Because of the low strength, you're pretty much going to be stuck with um, bad shields. But that allows you to essentially bypass that. Because with Great Magic Shield, you can block anything. Or almost anything. So yeah, we'll pick that up. We'll pick that up. Not sure I'm, I'm ever, ever going to use it. Because, well, maybe for Pontiff, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Because, it, it, I mean, it really does block everything, so... Yeah. Oh, shit. Alright, well, you know what? Go eat shit and die. Or eat mer mercury and die. Either way is fine. Okay, I'm not standing in it good. Just had to make sure. And these ones don't get worm. Oh, they do get worms? Oh well. Sorcerer stuff. Wait, it's not here? Oh no, no, here it is. I wonder if I can... No, no, that doesn't work. Here I go trying to cheese stuff and it doesn't work. Oh, it does work. Okay, cool. 
Just stand in it for a bit more. I somehow managed to aggro it. Alright, just stay there. Okay, I'm not taking damage. It's taking damage though. Not a lot. This thing has a lot of HP. Man, I love this spell. <clears throat> I don't remember who recommended that I use this, but thank you because... This is a great spell. Cheap as hell. I love watching the HP take down. It's like it's like a poison mist that's actually useful. And goodbye. Great magic shield. Let's check out this set that I picked up. Old sorcerer. This is the yeah, this is the standard or how sorcerer sets looked in the first game. It doesn't look half bad. You know what, actually, we'll, we'll roll with this for a while. It actually looks decent. The shield is the problem. The shield is what I don't like. Uh, this has 52. Honestly, in many ways, this is still my best shield for this character. I just don't like the way that uh, Carthus shield looked with the whole set. And you know, fashion is important. Holy shit, where did you all come from? Not what I wanted. They nearly got hit by that. Her fucking grab attack. Thank you. They also have a pretty cool set that they can drop. The Jailer set, I think it's called. Yeah. It's okay. The problem is that I pretty much don't want to switch my helmet because it gives me a magic buff. So, we're gonna be rolling with this for a while. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing with the first game. You know, once you picked up this Dust Crown, uh, there's really no reason to go for anything else. Okay, it's not looking at them. Okay, get the fuck away from me. I guess it's just like an aura, but it's very, very far. Okay, I'm playing with fire here. Pretty much anything will kill me. Yeah, let's heal. Alright. But you, you see, like, you're, we're getting into the point of oh, fuck. Alright, where is my torch? Thank you. We're getting into the point of the game where, like, as you can see, I'm using my spells a lot more because they are a lot more practical at this point than they were at the start. You know, I have more MP, more variety in my spells. So, again, this is going to be the part where I will actually start using them properly. Where the fuck is the door? Oh, there it is. I can never find this thing. <clears throat> This creepy motherfucker. This one you can just kill for free. For a couple of souls. Get the shortcut. I really should go back and rest. Because I have five esters. I have no ashen esters. But you know what? Whatever. I don't even remember where the kind of second bonfire is. The jailbreaker key is something we want. Yeah, in fact, we're going to go and do that. Because I'm fairly sure it leads to a lingering dragon crest ring. What rings do I have? Young dragon. Oh, I do have the lingering. But I think this leads to like... It leads to something. There it is. It's the bellowing. That's actually very, very useful. Boost sorceries. 
what else is there to say? It boosts sorceries. Like, that's all we're looking for. Shit. A crystal lizard. And of course there is the ambush here. You know what? Man, that prediction. You know what? Hate to waste my MP on this, but... Kind of a necessity. I'm gonna tie night scale out of it. Wow, these things are weak to magic. There's another one. Nothing in here. We basically... This is where we would have come from, so... Yeah, we just would have missed out on the ring, which is definitely not something you want to do. Goodbye. I don't even remember where like this next bonfire is. That's a problem. I know there is a thing here, a mimic. But where is the next? I can't think of it, honestly. This is going to be risky. It's a Mimic. There's always a chance it will kill you. That's a pretty strong one too. I mean, a lot of HP. That is, it, there isn't an, another bonfire for a long time, isn't there? At least I think. Because we go through here. It's a bunch of enemies. There's only one bonfire in this area, right? The next one is just the profane capital. So you know what? Let's go back. I think what I'm going to do is just run through here. I mean, you can run through here pretty easily. Not many enemies in the way. We we'll still have a lot of... Well, not a lot of, but we still have time. I feel like this is going to be a pretty productive episode, at least. Alright, we're all recharged. Let's get going. Yeah, maybe I can avoid... So my HP starts decreasing, but it doesn't. Has to do with the lamp, isn't it, I think. Goodbye. You see, this is good because you can just like run through here. Why you have? Why you need the jailer's key? Can I drop attack this one? Well, sort of. That was nowhere near him, but it still somehow hit. Would have wanted to get the one with the crossbow, but whatever. Ouch! Why does that deal so much damage? Or maybe it's just I don't have a lot of HP. That's probably it. You know what? If there was ever use for Pestilent Mercury, it's here. Because there's like supposed to be a bunch of them here. And of course only one is aggroed, so great. Luckily the AI is so like exploitable. That this really does work well. Come on. There you go. Already takes like half their HP, which is good. Yeah, that's kind of... Gotta be careful though, because yeah, they deal decent damage. Alright, heal. And we're good to go. That's it, right? This is the last one.
Is this the drop? I think so. Yeah, this is it. Okay. We'll deal with the giant later because, well, we kind of have to. Plus, you get like a chunk out of it and all that. So, you definitely don't want to skip out on that. Okay, we have rats. Actually. No, we, we don't want to use pestilent. Not yet. We'll use it in a bit, but not yet. Oh shit, watch out. Watch out for the rats, as always. Oh shit. Forget how many there are. And this is the thing I never remember. Like, the basilisks... What triggers them, exactly? Is it opening the chest? There's one chest and one mimic. Which is, this is one of those weird mimics that doesn't stand up. Yeah, okay. It's the chest. Apparently, what this set doesn't lack is curse resistance. I hate this ambush, or can you even call this an ambush? I hate the basilisks in general. I think everyone does. You should just jump all over the place, really hard to pin down. And of course the curse, which no one wants to deal with. Luckily in these games, since one is just an insta-kill. Is it dead? It's not... No, yeah, it's dead. Okay. Don't know if that was worth it. See? That's what I'm talking about. Weird Mimic. I think it's because of the area, like maybe this was too uh, narrow or too the ceiling was too low for the Mimic to fit normally. I don't know if there are any more like this in the game, these type of Mimics. Yep. Oh, the, the oh shit. Yeah, this is great. You can't see. You're stuck. That damage. Holy shit. Again, probably I just have really low HP because or defenses both. I don't remember this ever dealing this much. That's for sure. Dunk pie. Never gonna use that, so why have it? But you know, still. It's like a Pokemon, you gotta collect them all. You gotta pick up everything. We have the Dragon Torso, which I'm also not gonna use. I feel like that's more pyromancy oriented, that thing. And of course, here we have a miracle, but gotta have it. So, in terms of what I'm going to do, if I can f even find the switch. Oh, there it is. Let's probably head back to the bonfire. Should I just go through? I need to rest up. But again, back to this area. Like, I think this is a really well-designed area, in aside from the enemies, because... You know, it's one of those areas where there's one bonfire and there are a ton of shortcuts leading back to it. And I think that those are the best type of Souls areas. Because they like really, really use the level design well. I can never exactly tell wh where this puts me. Oh yeah, this is where. Okay. I get it now. Actually, why don't I just...
I have so many of these that it doesn't really matter. So again, this is kind of the place I always confuse myself with, where the elevator is. But it's actually through here. Well, like, like where you would go normally. And down here. Man, the HP loss is ridiculous. And there we go. I'm gonna be doing a fair bit of running right here because there's also a room full of these jailers and I really don't want to deal with them. So that's why you have the sprint button. Even if I may, I'm gonna lose a lot of HP. But it doesn't matter, like, I don't think the, the effect stacks or something. They cannot actually kill you. Hey, did I just make it through there normally? Okay, I don't know how that happened. Anyway, yeah, that was ve very efficient, I would say. Pretty much made it through this area in one less than 20 minute episode. Or I mean, like, 20 minutes, because we're 22 minutes in. Still gonna go for a bit, at least get to the bonfire, get through this gargoyle, we'll see how, it, wow, okay. And also, wow, I don't think I've ever seen him do that. I didn't know, well, it makes sense they would have a charge attack like that, man, the tracking. Doesn't matter, because I know there's a bonfire right here. You know, you can be a more more loose with your Estus. And that's not gonna work, buddy, because... yeah. So again, I think I was very efficient. Maybe because I knew I had less time. And... I don't know if that affects anything or not. The only question is, is whether I want to spend 20,000 for that key. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Maybe we'll hold it off until later. But as for now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 3. I know this was less than 25 minutes, but it's like, what else am I going to do? I'll see all of you next time with a normal length epi episode. Goodbye.